there, welcome to my views and news stories. Today I have one new story. This new story is from Eritrea. It's an NGO which monitors the religious situation in Eritrea. It has given us a report. It has reported uh, us that the situation, uh, the condition of religious persecution in Eritrea. I have details for you about that. So let's start. So viewers, in 1993, Eritrea uh, formally became independent. And in Eritrea, there is only one political party named PFDJ. PFDJ is only a one is a single party in whole Eritrea. No opposition party is allowed in Eritrea. No parliaments, uh, no constitution. Only one man in power. His name is Isa Savoki. He uh, became the president in 1991 of Eritrea. So when he became the president, now it has been three decades. He is still the president of Eritrea. And uh, in Eritrea, whole Eritrea, only one newspaper owned by the government of Isasavoki. Only one radio station owned by the government of Isasavoki. Only one TV channel owned by the government of Isasavoki. So basically, everything in Eritrea is owned by the government of Isasavoki. Um, and there are only four faiths uh, allowed in Eritrea. What are those? First is the Eridian Orthodox Evahidos Church. Second is Sunni Islam. And third is the Catholic Church. And fourth is the Evangelical Lutheran Church. These are the only four faiths allowed in Eridia. So Now, what uh, has the NGO reported us? The name of that NGO is Release Eritrea. Release Eritrea has uh, Release Eritrea is an NGO which monitors the religious situation uh, in Eritrea. So it has reported us that the evangelicals got arrested by the security forces uh, in last few weeks, especially in Tasni, Akurde. Uh, Gashberko and Parinto. These are uh, zones or uh, place in which evangelical Christians have been arrested. So more than 60 uh, evangelical Christians have been arrested. But we don't know the exact reason behind this. Maybe these evangelical Christians have committed violation because even evangelical Lutherans are allowed in Eritrea, or maybe only uh, evangelical Lutherans are allowed in Eritrea uh, because uh, uh, maybe they have uh, uh, worshipped publicly. Because the web, uh, the NGO, release Eritrea, is saying that wherever uh, the security forces, the government see evangelical Christians, they arrest them. But now, what is government saying? Eritrean government says that uh, no religious conflicts uh, are in Eritrea. Every, uh, like, there's all peace. There is no issues. The people who, like, people are just spreading propaganda about Eritrea. So, we don't know the exact reason who is telling the truth and who is saying a lie. But I'll update you in coming videos. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.